Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys how to open your third eye in a very indirect way. In fact, I'm gonna share with you how not only to open your third eye, but to flood all of your chakras with energy. It's very simple. And it's a lot different than what people may think. A lot of us want to think our way there. We want to find information. We want to absorb information. We want to read text. We want to, we want to you know, watch videos and get more information. And while that does help, the main avenue that breaks open, the main thing that breaks open and floods your body with energy in a way that opens up your third eye, that opens up your crown, that allows you to connect to universal energy and to receive visions, to experience your psycho, psychic nature, to astral project, to lucid dream, one of the main ways you can do that is to open up your heart. If you notice in life when you're feeling good, right, in the sense of when you're feeling love coursing all throughout your being, all of your other senses are heightened. When you feel love, your solar plexus, the, 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 the chakra right next to your heart, your solar plexus, when you're feeling love, you feel empowered, right? Your solar plexus is charged and open up and your body's flooded with energy. The same thing with your sexual energy, your sacral chakra, right? When you open up your heart chakra, now you even feel your sexual energy shifting in a way in which you never felt it shift before. That love would do that to you, that real love. That deep love. When you when you love deep, it goes down. When you feel it in your root chakra, when you open up your heart, you'll feel it in your root chakra, right? You'll feel your root chakra, that security, that fear go away. You'll feel connected to the earth. When you open up your heart chakra, right, you'll feel your throat. You'll be able to speak differently. Words will flow out of your body a little bit differently, right? And then your third eye begins to open up. When all these are in sync your third eye is blast open. Love gives you vision, right? We try, we're trying to open up our third eye directly, but if your heart is shut down, energy is not going to flow throughout your body properly. And for your third eye to be open, you have to be holistic. You have to be in sync. You have to be whole for you to receive wisdom and visions and for you to have the sight. You have to be whole, holy, right? And for that crown to burst open, See, the universe is love, man. Everything is love. At, at the base of everything, love is present. At the base of everything, love is present. The things that you don't like, you don't like them because you love something else. You, get, you, you, you move away from those things because you're moving towards what you love. It's the same. Everything, everything at the core, at the center is love. So... What is causing you not to be able to love fully? And hang in there with me. I know this is this is probably not the answer you may want to hear. You may want to hear to do some meditate and, and to think and think and think and think your way to an open third eye, but that's not always the way. Humanity, everybody has hurt in their heart. Everybody has pain in their heart. Because everybody's living in a way in which we're separated. Everybody is fearful. And when you're fearful, that means your faith in the universe, your faith in God is not present, right? When your faith, when you're connected, there is no fear. There's only love. There's only gratitude. There's only connectedness. You want to open your eye, your third eye, so you can be connected. But the thing is that the thing that connects you is love. Love is what turns the eye into we. The love, love is what connects you and I, is what connects you to nature, is what connects me to nature, is what connects you to the stars, is what connects the stars to you. It's love. And so when you allow that energy to course through you, when you address the things that is, that's in your life that you're not addressing, that's keeping you from loving fully, when you address those things, and I don't know what they are for you, you have to stop telling yourself a certain story. Oftentimes you, you think yourself out of love. You convince yourself not to love your life as much as you can love your life. You act in a way in which you begin to be mad at yourself and you, and you withdraw love from yourself. I have a video called Self Love 101. Check it out. But that energy of love is what, is what roots you and connects you to everything. So address what you have to address.
give more hugs. Meet people, give more hugs and give more love. If you want your heart to open up, you have to give more love. You have to act as love. You have to think as love. You have to speak in loving ways and you have to act in loving ways. And when you do that, you'll find your cellular structure begin to rearrange. You'll find everything about you begins to shift when you begin to act and be as love. Despite the fear, despite the doubt, despite people judging you, despite all of that bullshit. You gotta love anyway. You gotta be good to people for no reason. You have to smile at people for no reason. You have to give love for no reason. You have to give love freely and don't even expect it back. Why? You, don't, you don't need to expect love back from people when you are love. And when you do so, you'll find, oh man, true. <laughs> Opening your third eye and got nothing, and got nothing on opening up your heart. So figure it out. Figure it out. How can you give love more? How can you give love more? How can you give love more? How can you be connected to love more? And when you do so, when you connect to love more, you'll find your abilities change. Your thoughts change. Everything about you will change. Your visions change. Your sleep changes. A lot of you want to ask or project and experience thing, things of that psychic nature, but there's too much fear coursing throughout you for you to be able to connect to the astral realm in that way. There's too much fear in you that prevents you from connecting in a way to consciousness in the universe in a way you need to connect to consciousness in the universe. Fear separates. Love connects. You feel me? Open up your heart. Open up your heart. Screw a third eye. <laughs> That'll come. Open up your heart. Address the people in your life that you got to address. Speak your truth. When you shut down your truth, <laughs> you shut down your heart. It's all connected. Speak from here and everything Live from here and everything is bursted open. But you, it's, it's going to take some time. I'm going to have to get rid of some blockages in there. And it's going to be scary. Love and fear are cousins. And sometimes fear is going to stand at the doorway blocking you from experiencing love all the way. You got to bulldoze through that fear. You got to fear. Fear really is fear. Fear is afraid of love. Think of fear as a person, as a demon that exists in you. Fear is fearful. And so when you bulldoze fear, really, fear looks tough. Fear looks tough. It looks strong, right? But you move through them anyway. You burst your way through that fear anyway and watch what happens. Fear it back down. And love is staying strong. And life will change. I love you. I love y'all. I mean that. I love y'all so much, man. And I thank you. Whew. I thank you, man. I mean that.